Hello, I'm Chris Packham, and on my travels filming for the BBC Springwatch, I've been very fortunate to experience some fantastic stretches of the UK coastline, including these here in Cornwall. Now, the Cornish Wildlife Trust Your Shore project has been working really hard with some dedicated volunteers to enhance everyone's appreciation of this fragile and unique environment. Here are a few of the things that they've been up to. Today we're going on the Helford Marine Conservation Cruise. This annual event, which has been running since 1994, is organised by the Helford Voluntary Marine Conservation Area Group. It's a perfect opportunity for people of all ages and abilities to explore and examine and learn about their local marine environment, with experts on board talking about geology or birds, to actual live rock pool tanks so people can get up close and personal with the local wildlife. Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. Our plan is to go down to the mouth of the estuary and swing round and then come back right up through the estuary as far as Gweek and then turn round and come back to Helford Passage. Helford Marine Conservation Group is one of our leading local organisations. With the help of the Cornwall Wildlife Trust, they've grown from early shoots in 1987 to being a fully autonomous organisation with real clout. They're now consulted on every issue concerning the Helford River and amongst their numbers they have some really knowledgeable experts with a close-up view of this special marine environment. We have a network of creeks and this network of creeks has been of benefit to Cornwall over the years for trade uh, that's illegal as well as legal, smuggling, for leisure boats and a perfect safe haven for marine creatures. We're turning at a point opposite St Anthony Church, which is a lovely little church on your left hand side. And there in the distance on the right hand headland you will be able to see Nair Point that now is a coast watch station. The fisheries legislation comes from Europe and from the national government. It's quite convoluted. In the river, you're not allowed to catch bass from between May and January. You can from the shore. The highlight of this trip, I hope, will be when we go up uh, Paul Weverall Creek on our right hand side. And that will be where we expect to see the herons and the egrets. Now, first of all, let's come to a couple of um, very easy, easy ones. If it has any white on it, either under its tail or under its throat, then it's a cormorant. And if it's completely black, it is a shag. Take a good look. Here they are. Yes, the egrets are still nesting. Yeah, up in the trees. Like that. Whereas the herons, we believe, probably are not. The herons will start building their nest in February, and the egret is a little bit later. Well, I would imagine altogether today, with that lot there and what we've seen up the river, I expect we're getting on the, at least 30 birds and maybe even more. And if you're not a member of Helford Conservation Group, I'm going to take this opportunity to say, become one! Because this Marine Conservation Group are completely independent now. It's made up of volunteers who give up a lot of their time, dedicate a lot of their time to conserving this river, to keeping it as beautiful as you see it today. So if you do live locally, if you do appreciate the Helford River for its beauty and its environment, then do support the Helford Marine Conservation Group.
The Cornwall Wildlife Trust continues to inform, educate and enthuse about the fantastic wild environment here in Cornwall, but they do need your support. You can log on at www.cornwallwildlifetrust.org.uk and find out all about it and hopefully join in with them. And the next time you visit a Cornish beach like this one, look out for the Your Shore project. Mm -hmm.